Today in the pedal world, the ground effects bone flower. Ground Effects is a small German boutique pedal company located in Hamburg and, well, the bone flower is their overdrive pedal. Uh, this is actually available in two iterations, a small housing one and a big housing one. Um, I don't really know the differences. I think this big housing one has an additional boost. Uh, but yes, I have the big one. So we have eight control knobs and two switches, one for the drive, one for the boost, and then we have uh, highs, bass, treble, mass, level, texture, drive, and boost. So we have everything on noon right now. Oh, and one more thing, I really adore the artwork. It's really classy, uh, just a classy looking pedal. So let's find out how the EQ curve looks. First, let's only activate drive and then we'll go from there. So we have a huge level boost. That's cool. It's a hump on the 500 hertz. And now, uh, first of all, drive. Nothing, good. When we turn it down, or when we just slightly activate it, uh, it um, kind of emphasizes the bass. So let's leave it here. Now, highs. Nothing, so it might only work just when the boost is enabled. Bass. Seems to be a small shelf, in the 100 hertz region. Nothing too drastic. Treble. It's a high shelf at 3K. Maybe it's not a shelf, it's just a really broad bell. Okay, and now mass. Mess. It's another volume potty. Well, for now, let's leave it there. Okay, we have texture. Not sure what it does, just lowers or highers the single, so it might very well be compression. Drive, we already mentioned, and boost doesn't work as well. Okay, so those two seem to be only active when boost is enabled, so let's activate boost. Get a nice boost in volume, we can even emphasize more. Now this is really, really loud. Turn the boost down. It completely shuts down the signal. Okay. And now highs works and it's another shelf. Roughly centered around the same frequency range. Around the 3K. 3K. Okay. So. I still have two questions, what actually texture does and what mass does, and we'll find out about that in the actual audio comparison.
So first of all, I absolutely adore the design, especially the artwork. I really like this uh, rose and the, what do you call it? Black and white, black and metallic uh, artwork. Really, really cool artwork. And I also like it when my overdrives have lots of knobs to turn. So, uh, this basically means that you can change the sound, you can tweak it to your liking as well. I also like that the pedal has a dedicated overdrive as well as a dedicated boost function. So now in front of the clean amp, which basically is a typical overdrive and uh, boost. However, when you activate both pedals, it's really pumping and I don't find this to be very pleasant for my ears. However, your taste may very well vary. In front of the overdrive amp and in front of the distortion amp, I think it's rather subtle. Actually, uh, most of the control, the texture control works well in front of the clean amp and in front of the driven amp doesn't do this much. The treble, bass and mass potis are okay. I would have liked them to be way more efficient. The, I couldn't actually hear a really um, uh, gain boost when I use it uh, like a regular boost and when I cranked the drive I didn't do much at all. What, but Every time when I activated the boost, it's rather pumping and that's not my taste. Uh, well, yeah, so sound wise, it's not my taste, but uh, bear in mind, I have a very specific taste in sound and not all pedals can uh, do me justice. And therefore, I'm really eager to find out do you know ground effects and what do you think about the bone flower? Uh, have I done anything wrong? Do you think, well, I have to use a specific amp, I have to use a specific setting? Uh, just let me know down in the comment section. Are there any other pedals from ground effects that I should try out? Just let me know. And with this said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. May the force be with you and have a nice day.